We are the Rose Holman Rover Robotics Team, comprised of undergraduate students with engineering backgrounds. As this year's team captain of the Rose Holman Rover Robotics Team, one of my top priorities was ensuring members remained safe by following our school's COVID guidelines. Masks were required at all in-person gatherings with a workspace capacity implemented. Online messaging through Microsoft Teams was used to coordinate different subgroups of the team. The processing power of our rover is supplied by an NVIDIA Jetson Nano with auxiliary real-time control units for the independent modules on the rover. This year, we have added a custom control PCB for the ARM unit and reintroduced the science control unit to the rover. Due to their performance in last year's competition, we have decided to keep our 2.4 GHz communication points with a motorized directional base antenna and an omnidirectional rover antenna. We will also be retaining our 72 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery units for this year. We build our software architecture on top of ROS with modularized subsystems, focusing on specific functionalities. Our software covers various operations the rover requires, ranging from control and communication to perception and planning. This year, we designed a more robust autonomous system containing three modules. For simultaneous localization and mapping, we use an appearance-based mapping algorithm to build the surrounding environment to using data from a depth camera. The visual inertia odometry algorithm is used to estimate the rover's real-time position and trajectory using the input from cameras and IMU. We conduct a sensor fusion on GPS coordinates and IMU data using an extended common filter for global position estimation. We perform A-star path planning for navigation to find a globally optimal path. The optimized trajectory from the global path is generated using a time elastic band planner that complies with kinodynamic constraints. This year, the main goal for target tracking has been integration with the autonomous navigation system. We have moved away from treating movement control and target tracking and autonomous navigation as separate tasks. Our target tracking system uses OpenCV to detect tags, then calculate the position of the tag relative to the, to the rover. The relative position is then converted into latitude and longitude coordinates using data from our localization stack. Finally, these coordinates are sent to the autonomous navigation system as a waypoint objective. All the movement control is then handled by the autonomous navigation system. To correct issues we experienced with stability last year, we have designed a new chassis and suspension for this year's competition. We used our previous experience with rocker bogey suspension to design a more rigid and stable platform using square tubing. The new chassis allows us to optimize our layout for accessibility and repairability. The new chassis and differential bar are also much lighter and more compact. We've been able to use those weight savings to upgrade other rover subsystems. In a continued effort to improve the wheels, we decided to redesign them entirely. Our past experiments with polyurethane casting were unsatisfactory, leading us to consider 3D printed wheels consisting of distinct, layered TPU plates. These plates increase the flexibility of each wheel, allowing us to customize them for specialized terrain. Additionally, the hexagonal design reduces the overall weight while also maintaining the integrity required to support the rest of the rover. This year, we have a dedicated group of seniors working on redesigning the robotic arm. The new robotic arm builds on the key points of failure from last year's arm design. We now have a six degree of freedom robotic arm with an interchangeable end effector. 3D printed parts are constrained to non-structural areas, and we have improved on visual capabilities by mounting cameras not only on the arm, but offset from the arm to improve depth perception. With the removal of the science test during last year's URC competition, the Rose Holman science team did not get to finish building and test an onboard science package, so we will be implementing the same soil analysis test for this year. The robotic arm will be swapped out with the planned science package for the science mission. This year we have redesigned our soil extraction system to lower an auger screw to extract soil from the ground and push the soil up to the main package. The collected sample would then be transported via a moving slide system into a test tube turntable inside the main science package. A fully enclosed high-powered laser and a spectrometer will be used to conduct laser-induced spectroscopy for elemental analysis. An attached visible microscope will be used for visual inspection of rock samples and terrain, while onboard sensors will check for environmental factors such as humidity, air quality, and hydrogen.